Hello everybody, this is Adam Gellert with the Activation Movement here again today. Um, a couple days before Christmas and so I wanted to deliver um, a message that was relevant to the Christmas message of Jesus, you know, in his birth. Uh, but I think a little bit of a different twist than what you would typically find during the Christmas season. Uh, one of the things that's been impressed upon me to share recently has really been uh, John's message, John the Baptist's message. Uh, over the last couple of years in my quiet time with the Lord, I have heard you know, from him many times, you know, make straight the way for the Lord and, and make you know, straight those paths for the Lord. Um, and just really a lot of the messages of what John uh, was preaching. So it's something I haven't talked about before and just wanted to, as people reflect on the Christmas season and what it means and what Christ's, um, you know, entry into the world really means for us and for our salvation, a step in salvation is repentance, which is the message that John the Baptist was preaching before Jesus' ministry got started. He was preparing the hearts of the people for the for Jesus' entry into the scene and for the Son of God to, to enter in with his salvation. People's hearts had to be prepared and made ready for that. It was an attractive message at the time because if you think about it, John went out into the wilderness and began his ministry. So the fact that people he was in the wilderness People were attracted to being drawn to going out to the wilderness to hear him. He wasn't using social media. He wasn't using YouTube and Instagram and all those things. Obviously, weren't available at the time, but he wasn't going into the cities either to or to Jerusalem to give his message. He you know, trusted that the Holy Spirit had instructed him to go out to the wilderness, and that was where his message was preached. And let's look at uh, the cha you know, Mark chapter 1, um, the very beginning of Mark. Now, the beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, it is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. And so John came baptizing the de in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And I think that that message still holds true today. Certainly John was preparing the way for Jesus, but I think one of the reasons why uh, the Holy Spirit has impressed upon me so much the importance of this message in this season is really because Jesus is coming soon, and his and in, in his soon return, you know, are, you know, he's going to be looking for finding repentant hearts and hearts that have said, "I want to turn from my sinful ways and and recognize and go forward and do a 180." And, and really be able to turn around and, and, and do and focus on the things that are going to be righteous in the sight of God. And so it's, it's turning from your sin and repenting of your sin and saying, you know, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinful human and that only by your sacrifice of death on the cross and then your burial and resurrection, I'm redeemed to take on new life and relationship with the Father. But in order to really accept that and accept the message of who Jesus is in this season, the Christmas season, there's that initial preparing the way for the Lord. And so my message today is, as you look at the Christmas season, um, it's not just about obviously giving gifts and all the other fun things that we think about with Christmas. It's a time to reflect on Jesus' birth and what Jesus meant in terms of coming to earth and what his ministry was. In order to do that, you really have to understand that preparing the way for the Lord and making making those paths straight. So people, you know, uh, you know, even today, that message is still relevant. And for you, you may be thinking about it this in this Christmas season, um, you know, some some things that made you really you know, are keeping you from surrendering fully to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to just you know give you today that simple message of John the Baptist message. Make straight the way for the Lord. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Repent of any of the things that are holding you back from full relationship with the Lord. Um, and, and then through that uh, repentance and asking for forgiveness of your sins and believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, your sins are wiped clean. Uh, they are they remembered no more by the Father. And, is, and isn't that a relief and a freedom in your life to anything that you have in your life that you feel like has kept you from joy, from completeness, from being made whole through Him, it's such an easy um, answer and an easy way to free yourselves from that guilt, from that shame, from that oppression 
of that what sin creates and the wages of sin is death. And so if you're headed down that path, now's the time to turn and make straight the way for the Lord by, by repenting and saying, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins, come into my heart and I make you my Lord and Savior. So by really recognizing that your that your your past sins and that you are sinful uh, have a sinful nature as a human and by the blood of Jesus Christ I can be made whole from that and I can surrender to him today that's really the meaning of the the joy of the good news of the gospel the good news of why angels are so excited to tell everybody uh, upon Jesus's birth that the king was here that the time was now for a change in that new covenant that, that God was going to make with man through sending his son and sacrificing his son. It's such a good message, but we have to have our hearts prepared for that and be made ready for that. So today I just want to encourage you with that message from John the Baptist to, to repent and that baptism of repentance. And we talk about baptism in water uh, symbolizing that new creation in you. So if that encourages you also that if you've not been baptized in water, to just cleanse yourself of you know, the, the sinful nature that you have and symbolically saying, I want to be fully immersed uh, in water to do that. I would encourage you to go out to your local church and, and seek um, you know, a place that will do that for you as another action of faith. But that first step is just to say, yes, I, I feel I, I realize that I am in rebellion against God and the things I'm doing is, are, you know, is not, has not been working for me and I need peace, I need that joy. I need the things that only Jesus Christ of Nazareth can bring, the Son of God. And so I, during this Christmas season, as we think about the joys of Christ's birth and the Messiah, the promised Messiah being born uh, during this Christmas season, you know, also just wanting to remind you of John the Baptist's message of repentance, of, of asking for forgiveness for your sins. Um, and if you want to learn more about accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior during this season, there's a link in the description below from Billy Graham Ministries on how to do that. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you in the world, and may the joy of the season you know, reach you and touch your heart today, and may the Holy Spirit reach out and touch you for a new season as we enter into a new year, 2021, a, a, a change and a wind of change to blow through your life, and, and realizing today is the day to surrender your heart to Him, to repent, and uh, just be prepared to accept and receive the Lord, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, your Savior. Uh, have a good Christmas season, and uh, just we'll stay tuned to for future videos, and and have have all a, a great uh, holiday season, Christmas season, and New Year. Thank you.